In tonight's cover story, here is one more reminder that it only takes seconds for someone to walk off with your valuables. That's right. The Modesto Police Department says they normally see an uptick in thefts this time of year. But unfortunately, one Modesto homeowner learned her lesson in just 42 seconds while she was inside making dinner. The neighborhood normally is really awesome. Uh, I've been here for 13 years. I know all of my neighbors. Um, we normally watch out for ourselves. But suddenly, Tisha Kane couldn't find her wallet. When I went back and looked, I first initially thought that I wouldn't see anything because I thought maybe I left my wallet at the grocery market. She checked her video surveillance cameras. What she saw shocked her. She had planned to be home for only an hour, and in that brief window, her car was targeted. He rode along the sidewalk and rode up here to my car, opened it, saw my wallet immediately, grabbed my wallet, then reached back to see if anything was in the back seat of the car and grabbed my baby's security blanket, turned around, got my wallet, wrapped the security blanket around the wallet, shut my door, and away he went. And that only took probably 42 seconds. In total, she lost her ID, credit cards, and checkbook. And you know, you feel violated. You, uh, as I go through this, my neighborhood, you know, I'm doing extra trips around the block to see if I see this guy with blue, uh, you know, with red shoes, or if anyone looks um, out of place on bikes. I did get um, a call from the Modesto PD um, saying that my case has moved to high priority. But Kane is a law student, and she did her own sleuthing. She found the person had bought items online. Geek Part said that he is using that IP address from his phone and has been using that since March of 2017. So they're really um, excited to get this guy too. Kane said she turned all the information over to the Modesto police who are investigating the case. Gosh, how frustrating is that? Yeah, very. Well, thank goodness she's working with police because hopefully that'll resolve this quickly. For sure. Yeah, they're looking for this person seen in that surveillance video. So if you do recognize that person with the red shoes, give them a call. Yeah, very identifiable. Uh, I'm working on a story tomorrow about a loophole in current California law, which puts the burden of proof on victims to show yeah. that their car doors were locked during the time of a break-in. I'll tell you what's being done to try to change those current rules.